What's up, y'all? Josh Wozniacki, number 70, uh, senior. We're walking in right now. We got Christian, outside linebacker, also senior. Game day, uh, Marshfield, big good, big game. Uh, last guaranteed home game, got to win it. We got Johnny Matthews over here. Uh, I like to just keep my game days pretty, pretty relaxed, not do a whole lot. Just lay low, so. We're walking in right now. Uh, yeah. All right. Walking the first hour right now. We got orchestra with Grant. Uh, just had our con concert last night. It was pretty good. So won't be doing too much today. I got to clean up the stage, but yeah. All right. We just finished up. Uh, Thank you. Just finished up first hour. Hitting up all the card for some breakfast. We got Trilic. Yeah, Coy over here. His, forgot his jersey. His mom's bringing it to him right now. So, but uh, yeah, just got, I got an off hour right now. So, just getting some breakfast. I know we're leaving to go hang out with some elementary kids here at not nine. So it's eight thirty. But my mom's bringing it. Yeah, I forgot. See you guys there. All right, so I'm at Washington Elementary School right now. We every Friday send guys to the elementary schools. Just hang out with the kids, have a good time, get involved with the community. We always have a lot of fun. The kids love it. It's great. Right now, I am in the gym. Uh, playing essentially playing capture the flag right now. I'm on blue. I'm on blue team, so I'm gonna go run it up. All right, so we're going into Mrs. G's class to read. So can't take y'all in there, but let you know how it goes. All right, just got done reading found it the theme of about friendship pretty good story so we're heading back to spash now my car this way so we're heading back to spash now we got got marine bio this out fourth hour what joe what you got i got all sorts and then ancient civilization Ooh, intriguing with sabaric yeah oh Sabaric. that's that sounds like a good one so well catch up with y'all when we get back to Spash. All right, just got done with fourth hour, uh, hitting up herbs again. Yes, so, again, so, again. Yeah. only thing we run. The only thing, only thing, game day. All right, just got done, lunch, heading back in. I got autos, I don't know about you boys. Oh, oh. Yeah, speech. Ooh, yeah. Two absolute bangers. So, so, I think I'm doing, I think I'm helping somebody with an oil change today, so be a good time all right we got it done just got done with autos about to start health here we got brody what's up me and brody brody doesn't play football but sorry right. we're tackling health together here so wish us luck i'm late i like to lay low not do a whole lot sometimes go and get food go get food from quick trip yeah definitely hang out in the truck office for a while the whole rest of the school is there, yeah probably we got till 4 30 till we gotta be here yep. meetings right before five bus leaves what 5 5 30 no it's like plus it's later like 5 20 or something oh, 520, okay. yeah so just hanging out don't do a whole lot so get get every gear ready and everything so yeah. see you guys later right. we're on the bus got done with meetings on our way to girk ready to go get the win
And week nine is underway. It is 6-0 Marshfield on a 48-yard pass to Brooks Henson on Marshfield's first drop. First down. Sean, there's just going to keep it himself. He's got a huge hole off left tackle. Spins away. He's got the first down and plenty more. 30 cuts back in, 25. He'll be tripped up inside at the 22-yard line by Brooks Henson. Sean, there. Keeps it himself on the option. Cuts inside. 10, 5. He breaks a tackle and scores. Grant Shandana from 14 out. Takes it in and smash, ties it up 6-6. Six, six. Looking left, he's looking for Sadowska, high throw, and it's intercepted. Johnny Ananietis has number four on the season. And Shana just keeps it himself, he's got the first down and plenty more, breaks into space. 20, he loses the football. Who's got it? Looks like Marshall may have it. Fullback dive, and there's nothing there. Thrown to the ground is Taylor. Rody breaks a tackle, but he's not going to get there. He's going to get finally brought down. Bergener helped clean it up. Looks like Roska, third and six. Press coverage on Belson. It'll be Matthews gets it. He's going to have the first down and more. Still spinning his way, still on his feet. Inside the Marshfield 40, down to the 37-yard line. That's out to Anani Eddies. Cuts outside, 15, 10. Inside the 10, it'll be first down and goal for Spash. Matthews, hesitations, scores. Runs over defender at the goal line and scores. Touchdown, Spash. Johnny Matthews from four yards out gives Spash a 12 to six lead. Spread out, four receivers, two on each side. Robinson to throw. Got Sadowska, he's, the ball came out. That ball came out. And Walker Heck comes out with the football. Sean there looking to the road, rolling the left. He's got time. Can throw it back. He gets a great got his man. And walking in for the touchdown will be Kaysen Sager. Kaysen Sager from 21 yards gets his first touchdown of the season. Goes to Brandon, you gotta get the back come out of the backfield, right? Okay? And you would need to take three steps. We'll just come five forward. Okay, you can play five yards off and then just get to ten yards and stop the numbers and fight work. Okay? Most likely it's going to be a ten yard out. Pick it up. Okay? I'll be there with a ten yard out. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Receiver on each side, looking to throw, he's looking for hints and left. Comeback route, high throw, Hinson makes the catch past the 40. Good strong hands there by Brooks Hinson for a gain of 13. Robinson to throw, looking, looking right. Looking for the throw, that's gonna be dropped in the bucket, a beautiful throw and a catch made, Hinson again. Robinson, looking to throw. Five step drop, then he delayed handoff to Rody. Breaks a tackle, 10, five, touchdown Tigers! What a play call there. Sean, they play action, looking to throw, looking for an out and up. He's gonna throw, he's got Belson, high catch, made at the 49 yard line, he's brought down there. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. Sean, they quick pass out of 98, he gets another block on the outside. Breaking tackles, 25, 20, and he's gonna be brought down around the 15 yard line. Sean, they keeps it himself, gets a push and scores without a problem. And Sean, they is in from a yard out with 439 to go.
The Spanish Panthers end the season six and three in regular season play, four, uh, four and or five and one in conference play. Spash beats up a 35 to 13 win over longtime rival Marshfield tonight. Here on Blackout Cancer right here at Gerke Field. You see the emotion of last week and everything that went with it. You bounce back against a longtime rival and you guys come out, especially in that second quarter, and make a statement with what this Panther program is. Yeah, you know, I, I think it just speaks to the resiliency of our players. Um, you know, and, and, and that's what I, I talked about last week after the game too. I mean, I had a rough weekend, uh, you know, thinking about and then thinking back on all those things. But, um, you know, the, our players, you know, kids are resilient. They show a lot of that toughness. It's a great lesson for me. It's a great lesson uh, to learn. Um, so I'm really proud of them for being able to do that, to come out here. Marshfield's a great program, too, great team. Um, that's what we talked about, too. This is like, hey, this is like a great, this is a great tune-up, right? A great, not like, this is a great test for going into playoffs because they're a playoff team and they're a really solid team as well. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy that, that we played that way. And you talk about some of those seniors, they made the plays of this game. I mean, you scored twice in 25 seconds, led by seniors forcing turnovers. You guys talk about that little stretch and how it kind of shaped things the rest of the night. Well, I mean, that's just what we try to have our defense do is just fly around, make some plays, and, and, and that's what they did. And it just sparks us then, you know. And then we know, you know, once there's blood in the water, our offense is pretty good at pouncing on those opportunities. Um, and that's what, that's what we're able to do. We've done that a few times this year. So, um, yeah, it was really good, to, really good for our guys to be able to do that. And, again, like you said, led by the seniors. And now, you, in about 12 hours now, you're going to figure out who, where you're going, who you're playing, where you're going to be next Friday. I guess, how are you starting to prepare for that now in seven days' time to, with playoffs now here? Well, I mean, there's not much we can do tonight to prepare for that. But, you know, right away, once we figure it out, well, tomorrow we're doing a little watch party thing, you know, with our players and, um, you know, feeding them a little bit. And then we'll get, get our, get our uh, you know, see who we're playing. And then we'll, we'll start doing our breakdowns like we always do as a coaching staff. Um, and put together a game plan and, and then you know our players will, will work their butts off to compete um, and that's our aspiration still is to make a little run here in the playoffs we think we got a good enough team to do that and we're hitting strides at the right time. What were you feeling in a minute left in the half and you forced a fumble? Uh, well which one did I force now? Oh that, that pass. Right here on the sideline. Well at first I was thinking I missed the tackle and then that ball came out, and then I hopped right on, and that, that was electric. That was, that was good. And the defense king things again. Twice in 25 seconds, you the, yeah, you, you score led by that fumble. I guess, what does it mean for you guys to have that kind of a big moment late in the half to get momentum going into the half that you guys can capitalize on? And that's the best feeling ever, just to have the momentum and like take it into the half and then come back out and keep on going. And then as well, you're getting pressure throughout the game, but I guess I'm going to ask you about your, your classmates here. Obviously, a huge emotional moment here walking off the field. Uh, you're going you're gonna to have a game next week. We don't know where yet or who, but what does it mean for you guys together to walk back to midfield and back with everyone still here watching and here to support you guys? Uh, it's a like, huge accomplishment, I'd say. It's, it's bittersweet, you know, making it all that way through football, but then it could be the last game at Gurky, and just being with all the guys is amazing. Yeah, they're, they're a, just a great senior class. Uh, we got 28, 28 of them now. Um, so every year, you know, you go through and you kind of get that attrition where from freshman, sophomore year, you lose some. From sophomore, junior, you lose some. Junior, senior, you lose some. Um, and with this group, it was really like, hey, we're, we're not losing a lot of, of them each year, which is awesome to have. Uh, that's so rare, especially in today, uh, where it's a lot easier to just sit around at home or, or you know, pack it in. Or like we even see in NCAA, you're, you're not getting playing time after that. It's easier to quit or leave or do, go do something else. But these guys really stuck with it. So I'm really happy with them. It feels like we came in together with, with the way it kind of operates here, where they were 10th graders my first year. Um, and now we kind of do 9 through 12 a little bit more. But um, so, you know, we've, we've been through a lot together, a lot of highs and lows, and it's been really exciting. Um, so it's, it's awesome to have this night for them. And we talk about what they want their legacy to be. Um, tonight, that was kind of our focus for the week is on legacy and, you know, what that means to have kids watching you. And, and you know, they're probably going out there and, and trying to be number eight. They're going out there trying to be number 13 or number 10 or number 77, all those seniors that we have. and. Uh, you know, so so I know those guys are ready to play, and it, and it just it's a lot. Uh, it means a lot how hard they've worked for the program, and I think they've left the program a lot better than they found it. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think uh, we we've shown improvement all year uh, with our team. Uh, uh, we, we brought a lot of guys back, but you know, in high school, it still matters to have that experience and, and to be able to go through the year. And um, our guys, every day of practice this week too, I mean, just work hard so you can see that progression. So I really think um, we're, we're hitting a good stride at this moment. And I, even last week shows that it was a really good game. It was a great battle back. 
Um, that shows kind of the grit and toughness that our guys have. And that's what we started the year talking about is, is to be tough. Um, and football is a, a tough sport for tough people. And uh, to have that kind of game last week and be able to bounce back here um, and, and have a great week of practice shows a lot of that grit and toughness. So I think uh, as far as football that goes, yeah, I mean, we're improving. We like to still keep our low pad levels. We like to block. We like to hit still. Um, but I think that mental aspect, too, has really improved. Hey, hey, you're tuned in to Better Halves. Skip. I love my hometown, and I want a health plan that feels the same way. So, what are your favorite local date spots? Oh, um, yeah, I know like like all the date spots in Eclair. Ooh. Jane, I'm Steve from Security. I've lived here in Wisconsin my whole life, and that means I understand your health coverage needs better. By the way, Doug, it's Eau Claire. I have a dozen Eclairs in my dressing room.